Hey friends, today I want you to get ready for some major deep spring cleaning. This is an extreme whole house clean and when I say extreme, it's pretty extreme. We moved all of our furniture from our living room and I scrubbed baseboards, windows, blinds, and we deep cleaned our carpets. So get ready for some major cleaning motivation and give me a thumbs up if you're ready to get moving and get things done. My plan was to tackle the hardest part of my whole house clean in the beginning, and that was removing all of the furniture, deep cleaning carpets, cleaning blinds, and deep cleaning the baseboards in my living room. But before I did that, I needed to clear everything out. I wanted to clear the countertops and clear all of the floor, get all the toys put away before we did some deep cleaning. I do want to mention that this video is in collaboration with one of my sweet friends, Ellis Sarah Smith. She always gets me up and moving when I watch her cleaning videos and she knows how to get a house clean with two young boys by her side. She always has words of encouragement in her videos that make me want to get up and at least get something accomplished. I know you will enjoy her channel, so head on over. She is also doing a whole house clean with me. Tell her I sent you. I will have her channel and her video linked down below. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. And my hope is that when you're here, when you're watching my videos, you feel inspired and motivated. I hope I can make your life easier in some way. Every single week, you are going to get motivating videos from me and I'm here to help you out. We are going to get things done together. I know we're all going through a lot right now and a lot of people feel overwhelmed. And I want you to know that by watching my videos, it's not always easy for me. My life does get overwhelming, but we are in this together and I'm going to help you every step of the way. We can do this together, so please subscribe. We just want to party, yeah, yeah. You can bring your friends, we won't mind it. We just came to dance and go all night long. The look in your eyes, you can't hide it. Oh, baby, I know I turn you on.
the bottom half of these windows were pretty dirty because we don't move our furniture very often and it's really hard to clean so it definitely felt good to move everything and kind of get everything out of the way and really deep clean and i was honestly really excited to clean our carpets we try to do it once a year we'll usually rent a big carpet cleaner from Lowe's or, or Home Depot, but we had saved up and purchased our own carpet cleaner so we can do it more often. And I think especially with the kids, we would like to do it more frequently, more than one time a year. So we decided to save up and get a machine that we could do it more often. And at first I was just wiping down the inside of the windows here. And my plan is when it gets warmer, hopefully in a couple of weeks, I plan to clean all of the outdoor windows windows from the outside and then do the window tracking i figured it would be easier to remove the screens from the outside and then clean the tracking from the outside so instead of doing it from inside so there should be another spring cleaning video here in a couple of weeks so stay tuned for that I found this handy window blind cleaning tool on Amazon not too long ago, and because I hate cleaning my blinds, I thought it would be fun to try it out and see if it made it any easier. And I had my husband get the blinds that were way up high because I couldn't reach, and since he was home to help me, I figured why not utilize him? But you can see how dirty the microfiber cloths that are on that tool, they got pretty dirty just by me cleaning about half of the blinds. And you guys, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I, I have cleaned my blinds fairly recently so the fact that they were already this dirty makes me realize that i need to be doing this more frequently and this tool did make cleaning the entire blade of the blind if that's the right term like the whole thing it did make cleaning every inch of the blind way easier I like asking you guys some questions sometimes just to get to know you a little bit better. So my first question for you is would you rather be really cold or really hot? I would much rather be really hot. I love the warm. I do not like being cold. I hate it. I won't even run outside if it's like below 65 degrees, but I can run outside if it's 100 degrees. So I like being hot, not cold. What about you? Trying to understand what if this doesn't go as planned? So you don't know what it means to be loyal and kind. I know that you're not blind. Tell me what is really on your mind. I know it's hard to tell, but they're pushed in between the carpet and the baseboards is cat fur. So gross, but it was pretty satisfying to get the vacuum in between the baseboards and the carpet and vacuum it all out. And then I knew I was going to go in and really shampoo the carpets. I think this probably is one of the more satisfying cleaning videos that I've ever done.
so you will see Avery jumping in and out and helping me clean today. She was kind of my cleaning buddy all day long, definitely helping me out later and the next day. And the first part of my cleaning session, I was doing this when the twins were napping. Um, my husband Mike is working from home right now, and then later on, he was going to be hanging with the girls um, as I was finishing up and while the carpets dried. And I'm pretty grateful that we have multiple levels in our household, so we were able to entertain the babies in other areas of the house while we were cleaning the carpets and then letting them dry. Said I'm gonna win, though the world might spin. Now I'm sitting here like I'm no This is the carpet cleaner we saved up and purchased. I got it at Kohl's and I used a 30% off coupon and it was also on sale. It was a couple of weeks ago before all of this craziness happened. And I also got some Kohl's cash. So I figured I would buy the girls some summer clothing with it. And I know I don't need to explain all of that to you, but I don't know. I guess it just makes myself feel better when I get a good deal on something that costs a good bit of money. And Mike and I thought it was a good investment because again, with the babies crawling around and even though they will hopefully be walking here soon, we've just spent a lot of time on the floors and having the dog come in and out of the house, I know it's just a good long-term investment, especially when you see how dirty the water was when we were all done. If that doesn't motivate me to do this more often, I don't know what will. So the first part of this cleaning session, it was again in the morning while the babies were napping and then the rest of the day happened and I just wasn't able to clean. And so I had planned on, I decided I would just break all of this whole house cleaning up into two days, but I wanted to clean up after dinner and then the next day I would finish upstairs. But you guys are probably watching this thinking, didn't I just see her clean her kitchen? Yes, you did. But I feel like I clean my kitchen multiple times a day. I cannot be the only one. Pretty much after every meal, I clean up. And I'm sure I'll get some questions about my husband and what he's doing. I get a lot of those questions. Well, he is obviously working from home right now. And it's just been hard, I think, to find all of our 
new normal like what our new normal is you know like he's working from home but then all three kids are here and so that can be distracting but he also wants to spend time with us right now as we're all home together which is you know never happens so he's been spending a lot of time with us and then works more when the kids go down and he's been having a lot of work to do so i was actually enjoying cleaning up by myself it just with the days the I don't know, my days just seem so crazy and filled with kids and noise and I was enjoying cleaning up all by myself after everyone was in bed and Mike was working. What projects are you tackling while you're spending more time at home? I've been finding that organizing and decluttering and even cleaning helps lift my mood and it makes me happy. It puts me in a better mental space. So I've been going around my house and doing a lot of cleaning when I can and then organizing. So you guys will be seeing this on Sunday or I guess I'm putting it up on a Sunday. I don't know when you're watching this, but here in a couple of days, maybe it's already, I'm going to be having a video go up where I'm organizing and decluttering under my sink and a closet that we have in our household. And then here in the future, I have plans on decluttering and organizing the girls' closets, their bedroom closets. I wanna go through their clothes and do a little closet transformation. And Mike and I also want to go through our basement storage and to declutter and organize it so we have a lot we plan on doing and i guess making the best of the situation and being stuck at home so let me know what projects are you tackling I've also been enjoying cleaning at night, like I was saying earlier, due to all of this craziness. I just feel like social media and just all of this news just fills your head and overwhelms you. And then, you know, I'm busy with the kids and all of that during the day. And after the kids go to bed, Mike will go downstairs and work or watch TV or a movie. And I just like to kind of clean the house. It's quiet. Everything just seems peaceful. And it's been truly making me happy. Come over and find me on Instagram. It is jamielins.journey. It will also be linked in the description below, but come over. I post more about my life, 
you know, more about my kids and things that are non-cleaning, I guess, non-cleaning content, but I still post cleaning content over there as well. But if you want to get to know me a little bit better, come on over, say hi, and let's chat. Here in a little bit, I'm going to show you a nice and clean living room and you're probably going to notice, at least if you've been watching my videos for a while, that we are missing our leather ottoman in the living room. We got rid of it when we were removing the furniture because the leather was chipping off and it's actually been doing that for a while, really since last summer, but I was able to patch it up and actually paint it with some leather paint and that held up for about six months but now it's just getting worse and the babies are starting to pull the leather off and try to eat it so it's just getting to a point where it's a mess and a disaster and we are actually getting new furniture and we want to wait until we get the new furniture in to decide if we want a new ottoman or do we want a coffee table what size do we need i'm not going to buy something right now when we don't really know you know what the furniture is going to look like when we get it in and mike and i had already ordered furniture back in early february we were so excited and then a month after we ordered the furniture we got a notification that the place we ordered it from went bankrupt so we weren't going to get our furniture and now we can't go shopping so all of these plans are put on hold so stay tuned for some new furniture in our living room On day two, I had planned on cleaning most of the upstairs, kind of doing a big speed clean. And yes, I'm wearing the same exact clothes. I didn't, I did change my pants. I almost said I didn't change my pants. I did change my pants, but I am wearing the same shirt just because why not? I know you guys don't judge me. I was going to say don't judge me, but I know you guys, you guys got my back. You're not going to judge me. Another question for you, are you a night owl or are you a morning person? Let me know down below. I am personally, I like to stay up late and sleep in, but that doesn't really happen as a mom. So I find now I just go to bed early so I can wake up feeling refreshed.
here upstairs, I was pretty much just doing a speed clean, picking things up and wiping things down here and there. And I was trying to keep things pretty simple and fast by just wiping things down with the Lysol wipes. They're the kitchen kind. I think they just say kitchen because they're more heavy duty wipes. And that's why I like them because they're thicker than the regular Clorox or Lysol wipes. And I was just wiping everything down with these and then moving fast throughout the upstairs. Next week, I have plans to deep clean bedrooms, and I figured I would also deep clean the shower and bathtub. So this week, I just wanted to wipe everything down with my shower e-cloth, and you guys can find these if you're curious. There's a link in my description. You can use um, my code to get 10% off, but you just clean with water and the cloth. Um, they do a really, really good job. I can't say enough how great these cloths are, but if you wanna check them out, there is a link in the description. Memories and captured in the highlights Just keep on wasting Might be easier just to let it go Cut the cable short and the problem So might be easier For you I do it all night You're my only night side But yes, every week I am picking one area of the house to deep clean. Obviously this week it was the living room and the next week I plan on deep cleaning the bedrooms. It's just easier for me to kind of break it all up one at a time and I feel like it's not as overwhelming when I break it up. It also makes it more manageable as a mom so I can still spend time with my girls, um, spend quality time with them and also be productive and get cleaning done. But that is going to round out my two-day whole house clean with me. I hope this is a video that you found motivating and inspiring to go and tackle whatever job you need to tackle in your home. Or maybe I just provided some entertainment for you. Either way, I hope I put a smile on your face. And if you are still here, let me know in the comment section that you made it all the way to the end. I love every one of you guys and I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.